Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA here. Okay, so I want to go through All Selected today. So how you can um, utilize All Selected and really have an understanding of, of what All Selected does. All Selected is a derivative of the All functions. So there's, a, there's, there's All, there's All Selected, and there's All Accept, right? Now, they all do something quite similar. They remove context or they remove filters, right? Now, the best way I can showcase it is basically through an example, right? So cumulative cumulative sales or cumulative selected sales, I feel is the best way to showcase or try and understand what all selected does. Okay, so in, in to way, the way I'm going to showcase it, I'm going to actually just quickly uh, change, put a new measure inside of here. I'm going to go cumulative selected all. So I'm going to, instead of all selected, I'm actually going to put all inside of here. And I'll put this into um, our table as well and just do a bit of formatting. Okay, so you see the difference, right? You see the difference between all and all selected in terms of the results. Now, we have a filter on dates here, right? But what we have done is we have wrapped the dates. Um, we have wrapped our dates table where the filter has come from. And because this particular date column is sitting within the dates table, we have removed in this case only the uh, context or, or only um, only the filters within the current context. Okay, so context is key. I mean, that's basically if you you got to understand context to understand all selected. Uh, now all uh, now the current context, if you think about it, is this date range that we have selected. The current context changes whenever we change the date selection that we have. Okay, and so what the cumulative sales with the all selected is doing is it is it is removing context only for within this particular selection. But what all is doing is it removes all context regardless of what what is selected okay and that's why we get such different results so whenever i whenever i see an all uh, especially within a cumulative total pattern i always think well it's all from the beginning of time for, from the beginning of any data in your data set because basically it disregards any selection that you could make within your report but what all select does is it actually uh, it actually understands well okay you've got certain areas selected in your report or a certain date time frame um, selected within your report and so it only removes in this case this, the the context within here now why is this important because well we, we want to be able to showcase a cumulative total I'll, I'll just create a visual here we want to create a cumulative total that actually adjusts it actually adjusts for um, whatever time frame we select right and that's how we can create really effective visualizations which showcase trends which show divergence in trends etc etc and so if i go and um, change this around you know whatever date time frame it will constantly adjust it will constantly start at whatever is my first date i've got selected and whatever is my last date and it will only um, cumulatively work out or cumulatively count up from or between those particular dates but if i overlay this with say cumulative sales or all, you'll see that we get this um, ridiculous result which is pretty meaningless because this is trying to reach back to the beginning of time basically uh, and um, yeah as, 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 as at least you want to show that particular um, uh, running total type um, type analysis it's pretty pretty meaningless to be honest so that's why from a cumulative total all selected is a really effective way um, uh, using all cities is a really effective way to showcase that and um, you can utilize, obviously you can branch out from here, you can do sales last year, sales last quarter, et cetera, et cetera, in the same pattern, and all selected will always go and do the job. It will only showcase information within the selected time range. Now, in this particular example, I've actually used all selected in another different, another way also. I have actually, um, I, know I do showcase this in another video, I also showcase this in a um, advanced budgeting workshop um, which I will leave a description for, and uh, I will leave a link for. Sorry, in the description. So if you want to check out the entire workshop, I, I, I highly recommend. But I actually utilize all selected in another way too. It's not just in that one pattern that you use it. I mean, it's probably the most common way to use it. But you can actually utilize it. And in this case, what I've done, this is uh, this is pretty advanced. But I have manufactured 
a relationship between the date table and some information which is coming from our budget table because our budget table is at a monthly granularity versus our dates which is a daily granularity so there's no physical relationship there but what I have done is I have utilized the SUMX um, and the table functionality within SUMX to iterate through every single day and then used all selected to be able to uh, um, adjust adjust this result for dates even though even though there is actually no relationship no physical relationship um, in the particular model so there's a little bit to that um, so you know if um, I would certainly review the entire workshop because I go through all of it right and um, and and there's a lot of opportunities to learn lots of uh, lots of other budgeting forecasting benchmark type techniques but all selected is a really effective function to be able to utilize within many different ways and many different ways and um, to be honest this way that you can manufacture you can manufacture relationships um, um, inside of calculate by using some x etc is a truly truly amazing um, technique that you can look, use in Power BI. So, so get, getting your getting your um, mind around how to utilize that, and then being able to integrate it with all selected, is a, a really really um, effective way to use Power BI. Okay, so I'm going to round off um, just you know a bit of information on all selected. There. Um, there there are a few nuances to all selected. There's there's actually uh, you, you could actually dive deeper into how that function works. Something that's probably just not that relevant to be honest in this particular tutorial. But um, hopefully you can see the big difference between all, especially because that's where a lot of confusion occurs. But then also see that there's some other applications for all selected. Um, you know, um, for obviously with uh, cumulative sales, but also from a manufactured. Um, a relationship perspective as well okay so uh, what I'll do uh, is if you, if you want to download um, you know the, the or you want to sorry view the full workshop this is what we worked on this is what I worked on in showcase from start to finish so certainly check that out uh, in the uh, description um, and then also if you want to actually play with us and see how these formulas um, were utilized from a visualization perspective certainly check out the enterprise DNA showcase um, as uh, I review a lot, uh, you can review it yourself. You can use the demo, etc., etc. And if you actually want to purchase the this model along with all of these other models that um, I have created in time, uh, there is uh, about maybe 40 now, 40 demo models that you can build on a variety of different scenarios. You can. All it requires is an upgrade to Enterprise DNA membership. So certainly check that out if that, that's something you want to explore further and you want to um, deep dive into you know, how these are all built, etc. Um, I, I highly recommend um, looking into that further. Okay, so all the best with this one. Um, you know, plenty to learn um, with all selected. All selected is a great function, um, but one of the more complex ones. So, you know, certainly if you're just starting out, don't look at that one first. Um, leave, uh, go find some, go look at some of the um, more common ones like the aggregations, iterations, table functions. Those are where you should start and then branch out into these more advanced ones that when you start combining functions, you need to utilize to get the insights that you want. Okay, so if you enjoy this content, um, if you could throw the video a like, that would be awesome. Really appreciate it. And um, don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Lots of um, lots of content coming out on Power BI. If you want to learn Power BI, um, you know, really effectively how to practically implement it, then Enterprise DNA TV is the channel that you'll want to subscribe to. Okay, all the best. Talk to you soon.